we're one year and three months into my tennis journey and I have certainly played a lot of tennis, but not at the competition level. My last USTA tournament and only USTA tournament was at the 3-5 level in May 2023. Well now it's time to get back at it, see where the level's at and get back into tournament play this weekend. Let's see what happens. We are back after a year and it could not be a better day to play tennis. Now that's a lie, it's 36 degrees outside and the winds are showing 30 miles an hour. So it's not really an ideal situation to be playing tennis. We're playing at the 4-0 level, uh, potentially two matches today. The main goal is just to get through it. Um, I've got an hour and a half drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road, but I'm just gonna keep you updated along the whole way. And let's, let's try to get a dub this weekend in this frigid weather. Let's get it. Quick pit stop on the road trip get some coffee we've got a little nitro cold brew action even though it's 36 I'm still a cold coffee guy through and through I can't decide if I'm gonna eat or not I typically don't eat until like 11 my first match is at 9 30 anyways we are gonna get back on the road we got about 45 minutes left stretching is going to be crucial once I arrive sitting in this car is just not Ideal for the body when you're about to play, hopefully, hopefully two tennis matches. But I got a tough match in my first one. A little bit about that opponent coming right up. So just a quick look at my opponent's results. He's obviously pretty solid, played in a 4-5 tournament recently, and took a set off Sam 6-1, who was recently on the channel. We know he's pretty good. And then his last 4-0 tournament, he took the dub pretty easily so I knew I had my work cut out for me all right time to get this show on the road let me tell you guys this was not a fun day to play tennis I mean the wind was howling and it was freezing it was just really hard to track the ball the way the ball was moving I mean it was insane but we get off to a decent start um, you know needed to rely on my serve needed to attack that's just kind of my game and hit a nice volley there so i'm feeling good a 40 love first service game gotta do more with that short ball there put it into a corner this is kind of a big theme in this match here is is what i do with short balls but then he does something there um, puts the pressure on me i put a good serve in take that first game never feels good to start out um, a game getting aced, but that's what he does to me. That's what I want to do with short balls. That's into a corner with pace. That's kind of what I'm going for. Getting to the point here, playing solid. Forehand feeling surprisingly good. Good approach there. Probably should have rode that in. Volleyed it. Um, extend the point though. We keep playing. And I feel like I'm hitting the ball pretty good. And then that's just inexcusable. You gotta do something with that ball. This, there's no reason he should win on that point. Um, again, just short balls, do nothing with it. Put it straight into the net and then I, I drop that game. See, again, that's the kind of short ball play that I want, but unfortunately, I'm gonna spoil it. You don't see that a lot from here on out. A double fault to give this second game away, which is not something you want to do. You want to make him play that point out. Fortunately, I don't do it. I end up dropping this game as well and immediately put myself into a 3-1 hole. Another short ball. What do I do with it? That's a pretty good shot, but I got to put that volley away. End up getting him on the second one. Got a 30 love lead. And then that's just spacing. Probably the wind, I don't know. Um, put a good serve in. He hits a nice little backhand. He's running around his forehand and then I just give him a point. Can't do that. What a return there. I get that short high ball and I just sail it. Um, get another high ball. Gotta put that deeper in the court. Gotta split step, be ready for that volley. What do you know? I'm in a 4-1 hole, which is not where you want to be. Um, hits a good shot there. 
I find it deep again with that slice, which I'm not upset with. Then I try to spin one deep, and as you can tell, that is not deep, but we're still playing a solid point. And really just trying to grind this one out. We're making each other work. Get a short ball. He hits a really nice return, and then I just barely miss that slice. Painful to lose those kind of long points, but you just got to keep battling. There I am running around the backhand. Surprisingly, my backhand felt pretty good this entire weekend, but um, I still just have the tendency to run around it because I've done it for so long. Got to give him kudos on that shot, the swing volley. I'm down 5-1. Then I have a really nice service game, get a couple free points, put myself in position to win this, and boom, winner down the line. Finally get a game, and it's 5-2. Trying to make him work here at 30-30. Um, hopefully he can get a break here. I haven't had a chance. Haven't even had a look at a break point yet. And making him work. He's, you know, I just hit it right to him on our approach shot. Literally right to him. And then he gets me with that lob. And has a nice serve to end the game. So... Lose the first one 6-2 in unfortunate fashion. Boom, get a short ball, hit a short one right back to him, and he's in good position, and I just, I just choke. So I'm serving, he's got a break point, ride that thing in, that's a decent volley. Thank God he missed that, but then he has another chance at a break. Running around that thing again. Just hitting the looping balls, which in this wind, they were tough. And just missed the volley, net play, killing me. That's just a good backhand. My backhand is getting a lot better somehow make that work boom can we get a look at a break no we cannot and then I just have a nice you know I don't hate this point for me I'm working I'm making a battle playing defense sometimes you have to do that on return but then I just miss an easy ball and I'm down too lot. Again, I like the pace on my backhand on some of these, but that's a really nice shot from him. Started to find my serve here, hitting a little bit harder. Um, something I rely on, so it's important to get that thing going. But then, boom, short ball, put it into the net. I've got to start finishing when they give me opportunities. That's a ball I should smash right there. Luckily, he missed it, but didn't do enough with it. Again, trying to get a chance at a break. He's up 40-30. Solid backhands. Short ball into the net. I mean, short balls are killing me. So, you know, I'm at a place where I'm just trying to battle. Can't really find a way to win these games. Even though I feel like I'm playing solid, I'm just missing too many easy points there. Don't do enough with that approach shot. He has an easy pass. Nice little volley there. Another volley. And then just feel like the wheels are coming off a little bit. Get a short ball. Hit it straight down the pipe. Luckily he misses it. Good return from him. I somehow managed to get it back. Hit a solid back in. Go down the line. You know, for how windy it was, the points we were playing were pretty good. Not upset with that approach shot. I am upset with the way I tried to volley there. And now he has a break point. I have an ace to save that. Another really, really, really good serve. And look at what I do with that freaking short ball. 
At this point, I feel like the wheels are about to come off. Again. Trying to battle, trying to win this game. Short ball. Feel like I can I can attack that. That's a volley I should make every time, and I'm peeved. I'm upset. Down 4-1. At this point, you'd think I would fold, but I still want to battle. He hits a winner. Um, but luckily, I steal two more points, and I have a chance here to get a break. Probably my best look yet. I'm hitting solid shots. Get another short ball. Put it into the net, but finally, I have a break point. And I just sail it. But then I get another one right after that. And I manage this one a little bit better. Good cross court with pace. He misses it. Let's go. We're on the board with the break. But a short approach shot. And it's missed again. You see the theme that's kind of kind of taking place here. Put myself in a hole early in the service game. Guys, the backhand. I should be hitting it more often because... I'm keeping it deeper in the court than I typically have in the past, and it's coming with some pace, so I'm not upset with my backhand right now. I'm battling here. Luckily, I get a miss there. i am kind of finally got a gift. Boom, short ball. Do absolutely nothing with it. I mean, luckily I put that away, because if I would have given that point away, I might have jumped off a cliff. Um, nice little volley there. Put it away. Great get. And then I hit it right to him. Like, what am I doing? Luckily he missed that, but jeez. So it's 4-3. I've battled back. Have a chance. And I'm up 30-15 in this game. Have a really, really good opportunity here. Feeling good about the way I'm playing. And this is the point of the match here. I'm just going to let you all watch it. Full minute long of rallying. After that shiz, I thought, you know, he's tired. I've got him on fitness. I might be able to break him. Have two break points. Do nothing with the first one. I think I sailed a return long and then just give it right to him. It's embarrassing. It sucks. But still, we have a chance to break. We're in a good position. Should have probably followed that ball in. Get a short ball and just hit it right to him. He rips a winner on the pass. Short ball. That's better, but you can't miss that folly. You got to put those away. Luckily, I put that thing away. We've got another chance, but then he has break point again, or set point, or game point. I don't know. Sorry. And that's what you do there. Just give it away. Um, so I'm down 5-3. Luckily, the serve has really come on. Hold easily. And we have a break point. Again, at 5-4, um, we're starting to really play well. And boom, don't finish there. That hurts. I swear, the wind took this thing five feet back in. Miss an overhead and have to just patty kick it back. We're still in control of the point. And then I just baby a backhand. That's that's kind of the story of the match, guys. Had chances to finish, and I could not finish. Um, there it is again. Just terrible. I'm fuming right now because I really thought I should at least put this, put this set into a tie break, um, given my chance to send this into three, but instead we're walking off the court with an L. All right, guys, tough loss, as you just saw. Pretty disappointed there. Felt like I should have 
definitely push that to a tie break. My approach shots are just not there yet. My net play once I hit the approach shots is certainly not there yet, but that's still a match that I feel like I can win. Uh, you live and you learn. I need more match play experience, that's for sure. We're about to go grab some food and then we are back in three and a half hours to play a, another set. Just gotta hit my shots, make balls, not be scared. It's that simple. We reset, we'll be back, and we're gonna get some dubs this weekend. Sauced wing bar it is. I know you're probably thinking, Trey, what the frick are you doing eating wings when you're about to play tennis? But the Horns play basketball. Texas Longhorns play at noon. I wanna sit down and watch and be able to edit a video. So I'm gonna get a salad here and Watch some freaking basketball, should be great. Just crushed a thoroughly average salad. Shout out to Sauced Wings. The horns are getting their butts beat, so it's a poor start to a Saturday for me. I've certainly had better days. Just wanna take a second to address something because I know the comments are coming. You're probably thinking, why am I not playing at the 3-5 level? And the fact of the matter is, I don't wanna be a 3-5 tennis player, so why would I play at the 3-5 level? My goal is not even to be a 4-0 tennis player. And after the, this morning's match now, we'll see how far Max goes. Am I a 4-0? Am I not? Who knows? Um, but the goal is to be at a higher level than that. And if I just played 3-5 and say I won the 3-5 tournament, that'd be great. I don't want to be a 3-5 player. I want to be a 4-5 and maybe even above player at some point. And obviously that's a far way away. But in order to get there, I've got to push myself. I can't just stay and play at the 3-5 level because that's where I'm at. Now... I think there is something to be said for learning how to win tennis matches. And I agree. But I also wholeheartedly believe that I could have won that match this morning. Obviously, kudos to the guy that beat me. He played a solid match and made more balls than I do. And that is the game. It's that simple. Making balls. But... For those of you saying, oh, you shouldn't be playing at this level, I completely disagree. I am, my aspirations are higher than this 4-0 level. I think I am there. Um, I just gotta hit my shots and play better. So we're gonna get three more wins this weekend. Feel good leaving this weekend and into the next um, couple big steps in my tennis career. We've got some big matches coming up in March. This is all getting ready for that. And um, while I'm disappointed, we get back to the drawing board and we go play another match and we go, you know, learn from what just happened. All right, guys, back in the saddle. Thank the Lord the sun has come out and it's only about 45 degrees, but unfortunately it's still windy. Serve immediately felt even better in this second match and really got it going early. With this solid point, I have a really good chance at a break early. Two break points, but he battles back and ends up getting an advantage. Felt like I was dictating, hitting my shots a lot better in this game. As you can see, the wind is tossing my camera around like a rag doll, but I get the break early, and then he gets a break right back because he hits these deeper, slow returns, and I just don't know what to do with them. Miss them both. And then he holds. Why am I moving in slow motion right there? Like, I'm fast, and I just am kind of timing the ball. I don't, I don't like it but get really lucky there, and he's pretty upset with that shot. Get a nice hold, and then we're looking for another break. Can we get it? That's a decent backhand. That's a really good angled backhand. I love it. Two break points. 
We're starting to really feel good, hitting really good shots. I like that short ball. That's deep in the court with spin. He misses that, and we're up 4-2. And then I have an excellent service game. Excellent, excellent service game. Hitting the ball really well. And then this happens. He, he just called it. He, he said he was done. All right, that is quite unfortunate. Um, we got a withdrawal at 5-2. Um, we're serving well, serving really well. And um, yeah, he just withdrew, said he had other matches that were more important. So he wanted to conserve his energy. <clears throat> Sucks for me because I waited here for five hours in Bernie, Texas for this match. And we played for like 20 minutes and I'm done. So we're back out here, 8 a.m. tomorrow. That's gonna cap off this video. Next part will be this Sunday in replace of the Sunday set. Um, we will see y'all then. I uh, hope to get two more wins tomorrow. I feel like I have a lot to say about that, but there's no reason to be mean. Yeah, I don't know. It sucks, but we'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, or we'll see y'all in four days, I guess, for the Sunday set, the next two parts. Hopefully that is two matches because I win both. Um, anyways, thank y'all for watching. We're gonna keep grinding, winners only, peace.